So today we're gonna be taking a really close look at the Eventide H9 Max. My good friend Jimmy Faber came over and recorded a bunch of very cool songs for you guys. I wanted to give you guys a demo, we wanted to give you guys a demo of what it sounds like in action. So mm -hmm. that's what you're gonna hear next and we're gonna be back to talk about it at the end. So that should give you a pretty good idea of what it sounds like in action. I know there's lots of videos online of, you know, just like a regular old demo where you get to see that you hook it up to your phone via Bluetooth, which is super cool. Something we have done and played with. It's really easy. It's all click and drag, like really easy to mm -hmm. get to the sounds and super easy. Um, Very but user I wanna, friendly. Right? Very user friendly. Mm -hmm. The app, H9 app, totally good job you guys down there at Eventide. But we wanted to show you what it sounded like in action. And so I hope that those four songs we recorded gave you a good idea of what you can really create in your own home recording studio with this awesome little pedal. So Jimmy was the one who actually, you know, I got this in for a review and I was like, hey, I want you to do it. And so you took it and mm -hmm. played with it. So I figured give these people a little, what did, what did you learn? Well, First thing is that the amount of processing power that they were able to put into this little pedal is really, really impressive. Yeah. 
um, some of the most powerful delay and reverb algorithms I've heard For sure. in a long time. I'm sure a lot of your viewers are probably familiar with the name Eventide. Yeah. They've been, you know, a staple in the studio scene for quite a long time. In the last couple of years, they've suddenly made all of their sounds available to gigging live musicians. Yeah, it's in amazing. These tight little packages. Yeah. And this is actually the first time I've ever tried one of them, oh. and uh, hopefully it won't be the last, because this thing is very, very impressive. Yeah, Still, we're going to try to get you one. Uh, like I said, <laughs> um, some of the best reverb sounds For sure. that, that I've heard in a long time. And just very, very inspiring all around. Like, we plugged this thing in and, and you know, immediately came up with four songs, like, right off the Instantly. bat. Instantly. Like, the, the sounds are that inspiring. Yeah, totally. This thing. I was going to say. And it's they've made it very user-friendly. It's, e it's easy to, to modify your presets and save your own presets and switch between all the sounds and... Built like a tank, too, which yeah. is always nice for, for gigging musicians such as myself who kick the living crap out of our stuff sometimes. <laughs> I'm sure you guys notice, like, in the close-ups of this guitar, like, I actually get to occasionally play this instrument, like, at the jam nights or whatever, and every time I see it, I'm like, man, this is truly a road-worn instrument. Jimmy plays yeah. so much out there. You can see Natalie, it on the back. She's take, that, taken quite a beating over the years. Natalie, yeah, it looks awesome, yeah. plays awesome, sounds awesome. My experience with it, you know, here in the studio today and getting to hear it really for the first time was exactly what he's saying like the reverbs on that thing and I was going stereo and just so you know we were going stereo directly into the interface here which is my Focusrite Sapphire Pro 24 DSP um, no anything between it just the pedal straight into the interface everything was panned left hard left and right um, mm -hmm. most of it and um, they're they're really big they're really luscious I mean Very I have expansive I have tons of reverb pedals I have tons mm -hmm. of delay pedals the thing that really grabbed me about that is how there are multiple things layered on top of each other. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, it's like you turn on one of the presets, but there's like four, three, four, five effects running at the same time that have clearly been carefully chosen. Absolutely. They work really well together. There's some famous sounds you were saying. There's the, what, the streets have no name. Yeah, I mean, like you, you, you plug it in and it's like, it's you too, right, yeah. out, of the, right out of the box. Right. And then there was, the, we came across what we're thinking was Guns N' Roses, but we can't quite name the song, but it says Guns on the, the name of the preset. I don't know exactly what. Cool, cool sound either way. <laughs> very cool yeah, sound. very cool sound. Um, but basically, listen, you know, if you have the money, because it's not cheap, this pedal. Definitely not. It is not a cheap pedal. And I it's think not it, exactly a, a plug-in. In, it's very user-friendly, but you will need to spend some time with it. Yeah. To figure out, like, what presets you like and how to program everything. But it's very flexible. You can get very, very deep with this. Like, the presets you hear right out of the box are great. But like the amount of customization you can do with them is is pretty incredible. I, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the customization stuff. The app is so versatile, yeah. so powerful, and and totally brings like a whole brand new level to like just a regular pedal that goes on your pedal board. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it's 2019, and you're like, wow, so awesome that you can do that kind of stuff so efficiently and so easily. Um, I would totally recommend this to people who have the money. Again, it's not cheap. It's a hundred and was it eight? I'm sorry, eight hundred and forty nine dollars. Yeah. You get what you get what you pay for though. You get what you pay this for. This thing can do the job of several pedals all on its own. And I know a bunch of you are thinking like I've had those like multi effect boards like the old Digitex mm -hmm. and like all the stuff that did a bunch oh, of yeah. stuff. I've had tons of them. And I didn't like. As I started owning them and using them, I was like, this is useless. That yeah. is not the case with this thing. It's totally useful, yeah. and you can absolutely positively like find sounds you've been searching for, might not have even imagined before, something that will be like, oh, that's the sound mm -hmm. that that song needs. Yeah. Everything is studio quality. Absolutely right studio. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Totally studio mm -hmm. quality. So I think that's about all we need to say. I know if you're watching this video, you're already curious about the item. So I would highly recommend it. If you got the money yes. for it, buy it. And it's going to be... Definitely two thumbs up. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. We'll give it four thumbs up. Though. Sure. And we're going to do it at the same time. And it's four thumbs up. <laughs> for me, I was already thinking when that goes onto my pedal board, it's going to replace uh, my Digitech DL4... Sure. And my whammy pedal. Like, mm -hmm. I don't need the whammy pedal anymore. I'm not using yeah, it. Yeah, there's some amazing pitch shifting yeah. capabilities on Out. this thing. And the tracking. On the, the tracking pitch. is amazing. Yeah. He was, like, doing, like, light finger tapping, and it tracked every single yeah. note. A lot of the times with pedals like this, with, uh, you know, synth-style patches, like, when you start playing faster, or if you're 
picking isn't all that accurate. Like you start to notice yeah. the tracking starts to fall apart. But on this thing, I mean, for the most part, it stayed on top of it. Yeah. Honestly, one of the most impressive aspects of this pedal mm-hmm. was just how well it tracked and picked up every little nuance totally. of your playing. Well, there you go. There you go. The Eventide H9 Max. We like it, yeah. and uh, we, we hope that it. we hope that this demo showed you what else it can do in like a real world application yeah. of recording. This is just a small sample of what it can do. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, like the real tech nerds out there can. <laughs> could dig into this thing for hours. Absolutely, and, yeah. Like, the amount of sounds on tap here is just it's really impressive. Totally. Good job, guys. Cool, yeah. Thank you, Even Ty, for making such a great pedal. You guys, as always, thank you for watching GarageBand and Beyond. I super, super appreciate your viewering of my channel. Um, of course, there's tons of videos you can watch that are gonna be popping up around our head right about now as we draw to the end. And of course, if you wanna support the channel and keep it running, hit my Patreon page, which is, you know, the patrons, you guys are keeping me afloat. And uh, I think that's about it. So I'll see you guys next week with a brand new song. Peace and love.